Okay, we have a winner, and the winner is Taiga! Hello, I'm Epia Extrica, and you did just hear correctly, Tiger was officially voted the next biome to receive an update at Minecon Earth, which means that the few features that they confirmed would be coming to the Tiger will come in a soon to uh, release Minecraft update uh, for Minecraft Bedrock and Minecraft Java. We don't know about the timing, and even the developers themselves don't know exactly what the features will be, but we will receive some form of fox, we will receive some form of berry, and we will receive some form of campfire in a soon to come Minecraft update. Today I wanted to kind of uh, sum up Minecon Earth a little bit, talk about some of the big things, just in case you missed it or you want to know my thoughts on it and also talk about another boat that's happening in just a few weeks. That's right, we're going to be deciding another thing and I have a uh, kind of thought about what we should do with that too. So let's talk about all of that in today's video. I hope you all do enjoy. You can like this video if you do like it because it helps out the channel. Let's know you do like seeing some exciting update footage. We saw so much and uh, you'll see a little bit in the background. Again, we're going to dive into that a lot later or you can just watch my entire video, uh, my live reaction during Minecon, uh, which is also going to go up around the same time as this video. But let's dive into my Minecon thoughts overall slash my Minecon summary. So first of all, uh, the big exciting secret, the thing that they kept hinting at and saying no one can know about this, no one, even the most of the people uh, announcing it, didn't know until it just kind of happened. The Minecraft team are expanding out from just making Minecraft to making other games in the Minecraft universe with Minecraft and then colon and extra tax. So in the same way that Minecraft story mode took Minecraft and put it into, you know, like a Telltale formula, uh, it's going to be like this, except not Telltale games. If you don't like Telltale or you didn't like Minecraft story mode, and let's be honest, there's a lot of people who don't like Minecraft story mode, they can do a lot of different fun concepts in the familiar Minecraft universe. So Minecraft Dungeons was the game they announced and it sounds so exciting. A, a dungeon crawling game with the Minecraft universe, the Minecraft sets of, uh, you know, like stuff that you know, but with an entirely different set of mechanics and game rules and just, I, I think it's an amazing idea. It could go really great. It could go really badly. I think honestly though, at best, it's going to be pretty good because it's only coming out for PC in 2019. Uh, the first one, Minecraft Dungeons, maybe they're experimenting on PC because that's the best place to get feedback. I don't know for sure, but like it really does have to see a wider release for this to become a big deal. I think it's mostly like uh, if you're a PC gamer and you like, uh, you know, you don't like Minecraft, you like playing modern Minecraft, this is basically like a Minecraft mod that reimagines everything about Minecraft, and that sounds fun by itself. It's like Minesy or something like that. So, uh, with that said, uh, let's talk about the other things, because obviously the other big announcements were a big overhaul to the add-on system for Minecraft Bedrock. Add-ons are kind of like mods, but you can do them using just JSON, so even if you can't code, you can just like type some stuff and make, uh, you, you can make basically make variants on existing mods. They've now changed it so you can make brand new mobs from scratch this way. Again, uh, this is only like, it's kind of like a modding style thing. Most of you don't make add-ons, most of you don't care about add-ons, but if you do make add-ons, they're going to be getting a lot more powerful, which is great news. It's a really fun thing to do. And they even confirmed in the panel later that this is great because they can basically let you do it on a surface level. They don't have to kind of break the internals or expose the internals. They can keep developing the game at their own pace and let you develop your own stuff too. So it sounds great. But again, realistically, I think most of the people on this channel, not everyone, uh, but most people on this channel don't make add-ons and probably don't play with too many add-ons. Uh, you know, that's that's my experience of you people. Maybe if you disagree with that, let me know in the comments down below. I love add-ons, they're the best, but I think most people aren't going to be too interested in that. So the big thing you might be interested in is the fact that they announced two brand new updates at the same time. There's going to be a, I guess, let's call it 1.14 and 1.15. We don't know exactly the names or the numbers or even the exact set of features because we know there's going to be a smaller update coming this Christmas. It's going to include uh, things like uh, scaffolding. So if you want to build up, uh, you know, like on the side of something, if you want to build something huge, you can do that, then you can destroy the bottom half of scaffolding, the entire thing collapses. Like gravel, if you knock the bottom block down and then the rest kind of falls down, you can do a similar thing. Uh, so yeah, it's got all the best bits of gravel. It sounds maybe kind of exciting, but honestly, the bit, the bit that got me excited was like, it's made with bamboo. Oh, you can find bamboo in jungles now. Okay, that's exciting, bamboo in jungles. And oh, why is there bamboo in jungles? Because panda bears. This is my vindication. I insisted in my video on Monday, that the uh, Minecraft China vote couldn't just be for Minecraft China Edition. There are no Minecraft China Edition exclusives, and uh, you know, I was like, they said they'd add it to Minecraft eventually anyway, and now it's uh, been voted by the Chinese community. It's gotta come to Minecraft as a whole. And on this channel, we seem to split opinion on that one, like, oh no, it's, of course it's a Chinese mob, it, it, it says it's for China Edition, uh, and a lot, a lot of people were like, yeah, actually that makes some sense, Toy Cat. But then even Minecraft staff themselves were saying like, no, this is only for China Edition, you know, go read the vote, you got this one wrong. And I was a little bit like, ouch, ah, I didn't, didn't 
didn't realize I'd uh, got this one wrong. It didn't feel like I got something wrong. It felt like, you know, like, why would you make a Chinese edition exclusive uh, and then announce it on Mike on Earth? Except the way they did it is they announced, oh yeah, we this was worked on by Chinese players and it's coming to Minecraft. I don't know uh, what the miscommunication is right there, but I feel like official announcements on this sort of thing shouldn't be, you know, they, they shouldn't be assumed. They should be key knowledge. Like, when we hear an announcement Minecraft, um, from a Minecraft staff member, it should be pretty well informed. Or maybe Minecraft uh, decided that last minute to add it for everyone. I don't know for sure because we have gameplay of both those things, uh, but that's my vindication moment. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be coming in a, uh, a smaller update. And then later we've got the village and pillage update. There's so much in this update to be hyped for. Um, you know, crossbows, there's new villages, there's stuff like that. And yeah, that's really exciting stuff. I wanna dive into each village individually because there's new enchantments coming. Uh, there's a new uh, entire system of like raiding on villages. Every village is gonna change. There's so much, jungle villages even, like a, a sneaky reveal in there. I wanna dive into all of this stuff and let me do it justice for a full video because I need to leave the house in literally five minutes as I'm uh, done recording this, so I need to kind of hurry up. But let me just kind of talk about the last thing here because we have some pretty interesting news regarding cats. Cats and uh, ocelots are gonna be separated as mobs. There's no longer the fact that you tame an ocelot, it turns into a cat. Ocelots are just gonna be ocelots, which I mean, it sounds like they're gonna be useless. Hopefully they're gonna update them, but yeah, they're gonna be updating cats. And you know the feature I made fun of all this time? They're adding that for cats. I made fun of dog skins for so long because of why would you need them? But they're updating cats. There's gonna be eight cat skins, which is kind of cool. And the ninth cat skin, because because nine cats, nine lives, you get it, fun pun, is gonna be decided by the community. So let me just play the clip. And I can see here, so you've updated the, I mean, we used to have three cat skins, right? Yeah, exactly. So uh, we, we are gonna add more skins uh, for, the, for the cats, and we thought it was funny to have nine skins. Um, <laughs> and and as, you, as, uh, as you may know, uh, one of the original skins, the Tuxedo Cat, was based on my wife's old cat, Newton. Uh, and you can see the big question mark here in the middle that uh, we are going to ask the community to submit uh, pictures for their cats and have kind of like a competition. So one community member is going to have their cat immortalized in Minecraft. So they can get their real life cat, then we're going to make it into a Minecraft cat and that will be the ninth uh, cat skin in the game. A exactly. Uh, so there will be more information on, uh, about this, exactly how it's going to work on Minecraft.net in a few weeks. So in three weeks, we're going to know exactly uh, what's going down with that kind of vote again. Or oh, a few weeks, I think he said. But like, you know, and in a few weeks from now, let's just say November, we're going to know how we can decide uh, which cat gets put in the game. If you have a cat, I'm sure you want to see in Minecraft, you can do that. Or, because I'm going to be honest with you this right, right here, I want to abuse... Uh, the, the audience we have right here, just a little bit, you know, be, beyond that whole Savannah thing. I'm gonna try and cash in some emotional points. If at any point I've uh, done something in the video that you have liked, my request to you, if uh, my humble uh, request to you, the viewer, is that maybe we can try and get Cookie put into Minecraft. Because Cookie is the most iconic Minecraft cat. I feel like at least everyone knows Cookie. Her Twitter account has <laughs> way too many followers for literally a cat that just meows and posts pictures of herself. But yeah, basically, I want Cookie to be in Minecraft. And if you do too, and if you if you don't have a cat that you want to put in yourself, then when the time comes, I just want you to request Cookie the cat and send any picture from the IDX Cookie account into this contest. And that's that's all I want in the world. I would be so happy if Cookie or a Cookie impersonator makes it into the game. And if you want to do this for me, I'd appreciate it. However, again, re regardless of what you want to do with this, this is just kind of a fun overview of the update. I really want to do an in-depth dive into this, but I literally have to leave <laughs> in three minutes. Don't know how I'm going to edit and upload this in time. But thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope you all enjoyed Mine on Earth as much as I did. Um, again, improvements to be made in the format, but I like that they're trying, they're improving each year. There was fun stuff that weren't, it wasn't in there last year. Um, I have, there was a lot of weird, like, why is this in the game again? Uh, again, if you want to watch, feel my whole thoughts on the whole thing, it's a three hour, 50 minute video, so you can, Get in there and you can watch that entire thing if you want to. It should upload to YouTube at some point. Again, a little bit off this video. But yeah, for now, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the recap. I'm super excited and I guess I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.